Welcome to the attic. Lots of nice spray foam insulation and a very basic um, floor that I put down so that I could store things up here years ago. Um, now, today, the plan is going to be to add this test tee to the main stack that goes through the roof right here. We're gonna take out this joint, put this test tee in. This is going to allow me to plug that <coughs> and then plug the drain side. And that way I can actually put a vacuum on the system um, and search for any leaks and plug them by putting glue into the, the leak and the glue will get sucked into the leak therefore sealing it up hopefully that way once the ground is defrosted well not the ground once the hose has defrosted uh, right now it's so brittle uh, it's about 11 degrees out uh, we'll be able to plug the hose or screw the hose back into the system and water test it and get it inspected. So I actually want to lower this stack a little bit because it's sticking out quite a bit from the roof. So I'm, I'm actually going to cut it a little bit higher than what I need just so that I can lower it down a bit. in there make sure we get a good fit or a tight fit with no leaks because leaks are the devil so this is a test tee there's no up or down it just goes straight in got a port on the side here where the balloon will go in and that's it we're gonna attach it to the top let that cure and then we can drag the whole thing and just pull it straight down to attach to the bottom Hey, look everybody, it's Abby doing video editing. So after my super disaster here in the basement where I had a plug in that clean out there, but I didn't know how much to pump it up because I didn't have any kind of pressure gauge and I flooded the entire basement when it blew out, um, I've gone and bought the right stuff this time. I have a test pump with a gauge and I also went ahead and got the long test ball which means that it will actually run down and angle through this clean out here instead of just being a ball that plugs it'll actually plug twice. It'll plug the down section and this angled section so there really should be no problems with this at all. All right so as you can see here, must inflate to 40 PSI. We're going to take off the little cap here and shove this in the hole.
That ain't going nowhere. got here the four inch standard test ball which I should be able to just put right there and we'll use this little extension and pump this up again I think this is 40 but we should probably check it inflate to 30 good thing I checked duct tape this connection on here like this and that's how we're going to get our vacuum. Alright, and that should create a vacuum in this entire system. The ball we just put in and the test valve, test T is right there. The long one is down at the bottom there. So everything from the bottom to the top, through this vent, through this drain, and down to this drain and that drain should all be nice and tight. So to test and make sure that I've actually got good suction, I'm just going to pull this one off and so you can hear, we've got good suction throughout the system and we can go ahead and move forward with glue. So the only place for sure that I knew that I had an issue here before we had the explosion of water was right here and I'd marked it with an X. So I'm going to dab some glue on around this joint. And then we're gonna turn the vacuum off. And we're gonna hope that that actually uh, seals that up. 